when NASA's two astronauts stuck in space at the ISS. They were headed back to Earth aboard the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft, which has undocked from the International Space Station. Sunita Williams, Butch Wilmore. They are joined by NASA astronaut Nick Haig and Russian cosmonaut Alexander Gurbanov on board the Dragon capsule. And their ocean splashdown off the Florida coast is expected tomorrow. Now, Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore were stuck aboard the International Space Station since June after the Boeing Starliner spacecraft they were testing on its maiden crewed voyage suffered propulsion issues and was deemed unfit to fly them back to Earth. What was expected to be a 10-day stay at the ISS turned into a stay for over nine months. Their prolonged stay was significantly longer than the standard ISS rotation for astronauts of roughly six months. And SpaceX capsule delivered four astronauts to the International Space Station early on Sunday in a NASA crew swap mission to allow the pair of the stuck astronauts, Bush Wilmore, and Sunita Williams to return home after nine long months on the orbiting lab. The team consisted of NASA astronauts Anne McLean and Nicole Ayers, Japan's Takuya Onishi and Russia's Kirill Peskov. About 29 hours since launching at 7.3 p.m. on Friday from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida, the Crew-10 astronaut SpaceX Crew Dragon capsule docked at the ISS at 12.4 a.m. on Sunday. The mission is a long-awaited first step to bring Wilmore and Williams back to Earth, part of a plan set by NASA last year that has been given greater urgency by President Trump since he took office in January. The SpaceX capsule, which undocked from the International Space Station, is expected to splash down after a 17-hour journey off Florida coast. All right, for more on this, our principal correspondent Siddharth MP is joining us on the phone line. Siddharth, that journey back home, of course, this is something everyone has been waiting for with bated breaths. It's been since on, since June of last year. Finally, that moment has arrived. Walk us through what is expected over the next 17 hours. So this undocking, Shivan, is a very intricate process. So first the ship has to, the craft, that is uh, the uh, SpaceX Crew Dragon, has to, in a calculated fashion, move itself away by firing its thrusters from the uh, International Space Station with which it was docked. And there, thereafter, it will start circling the Earth independently because uh, over the last several months, that particular capsule has been circling the Earth along with the station, docked with the station. So it's been one entity. Now it is a separate entity. The space station is a separate entity. So this particular capsule will have to circle the Earth multiple times and there has to be multiple parameters, its altitude, its velocity, its direction. A lot of these parameters have to be aligned for re-entry. So at the time when all these parameters match, that's when they, you know, uh, fire their thrusters to re-enter the Earth. So it's at a predetermined position that they'll have to perform these uh, actions. Mm. And once that is done, the re-entry process commences. And once that re-entry commences, it's a matter of less than 40 minutes or one hour, the final uh, phase of this. So once that re-entry happens, then uh, the craft actually has to enter the denser layers of the upper atmosphere and mm. then make its way down. So usually there's at least a 5-10 minute interval of communications blackout during re-entry because of the heating and plasma that takes place uh, outside the capsule. So it's mm. almost uh, 2,500 to 3,000 degrees Celsius. That's how hot the external of the capsule gets while re-entry, purely mm. because of the velocity at which it travels and also because of the friction with the air molecules in our atmosphere. So once that happens, uh, it actually starts descending very fast. Yes. And after a point, um, once the air gets denser, the descent is slowed down. And this slowing down is done by means of parachutes. There are multiple parachutes uh, installed on the craft. And mm. depending on the altitude of the craft, these parachutes are deployed. And then gradually, each one of these parachutes will slow it down. Yes. And then it comes and splashes down very gently on the waters, Shivan. All right, Siddharth, it's a rather detailed account of exactly what's in store. You've been tracking this very closely and very well, and we will be staying in touch with you to get us an up-to-date on exactly where that process is as it intros further. As of now, that 17-hour journey has started, and we will be tracking it closely. That was Siddharth MP getting us the latest.